Hey, what is up everybody? Dylan here from Iceberg TV. Today, I have the Titanium from Loof Discs uh, that we're gonna be checking out today. They just dropped over on Disc Golf Deals USA. I have the Founders Edition that Loof sent me at least a year ago when they first dropped, but a bunch of cool different colors just dropped on the site over at Disc Golf Deals USA. So I thought it'd be fun to check these out and compare them to some of my other favorite neutral seven speed fairway drivers. This guy is a 7.5 minus 2.1. So I've got the Brave here to compare it to. Probably my favorite neutral fairway driver at the moment. It's a 7.6 minus 1.2. And then we also have the Discraft Cicada here with us today, which is a 7.6 minus 1.1. I feel like all these discs are very comparable. I really like the Cicada a lot. But let's check out these Loft Discs Titaniums first, and then we'll check out the Braves and the Cicadas to see how they all fly in comparison to one another. They're all beadless, they're all very similar. I'm actually really curious to see which one is the most stable and which one is the most understable. Not quite as much flip as I was expecting. Let's try this one a little bit more flat. Again, similar deal, definitely flying more like a minus one one, more so than a minus two one, I feel like. So for me, the new titaniums are actually perfectly stable. I wouldn't say it's a neutral disc for me. It's definitely more of just like a stable but not over stable fairway driver. Now let's see how it flies compared to my super beat up Brave and then a brand new stock Brave. The Brave has historically been a staple in my bag for a long time now. Maybe I'm just a weakling right now that flew exactly the same as the Titanium. playing very similar to one another. And then we've got, in my opinion, Discraft's best neutral flying fairway driver, the Cicada. I have one in the new ESP. And I also have one in the Titanium blend. Let's see if we get a little more flip out of these guys. The Cicada I can historically throw just absolutely dead straight. That definitely got a little bit more flip up than the Titanium and the Brave. Let's see how the Titanium Cicada flies compared to the ESP one. <sighs> Definitely getting more of that true minus one one. I wanna go gather everything and throw it back this way now that I'm a little more warmed up. Let's see if we can get these Titaniums to turn a little bit. That's gonna be the goal on this next set of throws. Now there are a lot of big brands in disc golf, the MVPs, the Innovas, the Disc Crafts, but then there's a lot of really small brands, a little more niche brands that are also actually really good. Now, not all small disc golf brands are created equal. And I feel like where some of the smaller brands fall short is with the consistency, flashing, and quality control. The number one best thing about Loof Discs, I've never seen a Loof Disc all the way back when I first started working with them like four or five years ago, I've never seen a disc of theirs with any flashing. They have that nice premium European feel, believe they're made and produced in Denmark. And when it comes to having the most consistency, the highest quality and no flashing, Luft is right up there with the Latitude 64s, the MVPs, and is right up there with the best of them. And I do wanna do a quick side profile comparison can see the titanium and the cicada are very, very similar. Not many discernible differences here. And then we have the Brave, one of my personal favorites. Again, very similar, maybe a little bit more shouldery here, which is why I'm expecting to be able to get the Braves to turn a little bit more. But with such a similar shape, I'm surprised this titanium is as stable as it is. Let's get zoomed in here a little bit so you guys can really see the flights here. I'm gonna throw these a bit flatter See if we can't exaggerate the turn a little bit, especially on the loofs. Let's try a little 
flat slash Anheuser. Even putting it on a touch of Anheuser, it did hold the turn for a long time, which is really nice, but it still faded out at the end. That one fade is definitely noticeable. Really forcing the issue there. But once you get it turning, it will stay turned for quite a while, but that one fade certainly kicks in right at the end of the flight, right when you want it to. See, that's a nice flight right there. Very much like Innova made FD kind of vibe for me. Then we've got the cicadas here. Let's try and force the issue with these guys a little bit as well. Very similar flight. That ESP cicada has been money ever since I got it. Still flies money today. And we've got the titanium cicada. Got over on that one a bit. Cicada, very true to the flight numbers, flying at that minus one, one all day long. Now let's see the Brave here. Holding on to that turn, very similar to the Titanium, but quite a different feel in the hand. That bottom half of the mold on the Brave definitely feels a bit more like a beadless T-bird more than it does like the cicada. And that new Brave doesn't want to flip up a ton for me. Nice and stable, brand new out of the box. But the prototype Brave I've been throwing for around a year now seems to have quite a bit more turn on it. And Loof Discs has been sending me all of their prototypes ever since they first came out with their first disc, the One Speed Hydrogen. But they attempted to coin the straightest disc ever made at the time. And then they followed it up with the Borium one or two discs later, which was supposed to be the farthest flying disc ever made. And I don't necessarily think they were a flop, but when you're making claims that your disc is the best at anything ever before, that's a tall order to try and fill. And I don't think they necessarily were able to succeed in that. But again, what they were able to succeed in and the biggest pluses to Loof discs is the quality control, the feel and hand of the plastic. Every disc you buy from them is the exact same. And again, an emphasis on smooth edges and absolutely zero flashing. That's where Loof discs really shine. So if they're able to come out with more conventional molds, I will expect to see their brand continue to rise as they have over the last four or five years. All right, let's... <clears throat> So one of the things that does set the titanium apart is most stable-ish fairway drivers do feature a nose bead. This guy has no nose bead. Usually beadless sort of understable fairway drivers are like really flippy. Um, but being a minus two, it still feels very controllable for me. Um, with that being said, the real test for me is on the forehand. So let's give everything a forehand and let's see how we can really handle a little more speed combined with a little less spin, which really does test the stability of discs, um, at least for me. I mean, maybe not quite a minus two, but that's still a very, very, very nice looking flight. Let's test it a little bit more flat. I mean, hitting, getting to that bench is at least 400 feet. So that was about a 400 foot shot, 400 feet worth of power. And this thing did not really want to turn all that much. A very impressive flight. And that's a pretty aggressive shot. That one I threw really hard. If you throw hard and you throw smooth, you're really going to like that disc. I've actually never forehanded a cicada, maybe once or twice. Let's see how these fly. I got the titanium guy here. Definitely more understable. 
for me, those uh, Loft Titaniums, at least in that Founders Edition, I'm getting like new Champion T-Bird type flight, but without the nose bead, if you're someone who doesn't like the nose bead on a lot of the stable fairway drivers, I think you would really enjoy the Loft Titanium. Cicada is so money. Hit the pole. Let's go. I think the Braves are the most understable, at least my beat-in Brave. Let's see how the new Brave flies. <clears throat> Absolute beauties, man. I love mid-ranges and fairway drivers are my favorite slot to throw. And I think you guys are seeing exactly why that is. You just get distance driver level distance, but mid-range level shot shaping when you're throwing a fairway driver. It's literally just the best of both worlds. And that's my moneymaker disc right there. Holy cow. That is a freaking bomb. Now, if you see any discs on this channel that you like, pretty much all of them are available over at Disc Golf Deals USA. Uh, make sure you go to my website, it's discgolfdealsusa.com slash iceberg TV. You get a, basically a discount on anything on the site just by using my website. So you can click the link in the description below, and then I would favorite that website. So anytime you do want to shop for some golf discs, you can get the best deals, get yourself a discount and save some money. Again, with my website over at Disc Golf Deals USA. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Stay humble, live with gratitude. I'll see you guys in the next video and take care.